Jeremy Oliver here in Clare Valley Central with Jamie Pike from Pikes Ones. Jamie, thank you for joining us. No, and thank you. you for bringing me to this rather extraordinary site that's mm. not very far from uh, your family's property. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me what you've brought me here for, what, what's here to look at, and yep. why is it so important to the, the wines of the Clare Valley? Absolutely. So here we're just at a little cutting that's just around the corner from our estate in Polish Hill River. And it's a really fantastic spot to kind of get a visual indi indication of, you know, what is the bedrock of, you know, that's underneath our estate and underneath the Polish Hill River. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so important for the style of our wines. Yes. So we're looking here at, I guess, what is, you know, known as the, the blue slate uh, subsoils yeah. that are all throughout the, the subregion here in the Polish Hill River. You know, it was once the sea floor, 650 yeah. million years ago. And you're saying before, that was before life. That's right. Yeah. So we, we don't see any fossils in the, in the subsoils here. It's all pre-life and uh, mineral rich because uh, yeah. it was the sea floor. Yeah, it's uh, fairly lean soils. There's not much organic yeah. material. In Take it. me through this. You were showing me before, it's yep. really quite pliable. It is. And, so and this, I guess, if you're being 100% um, accurate, uh, Geo geologically, it's actually the stage of uh, of rock that precedes it being slate, mm -hmm. so it's not quite compressed enough, mm -hmm. but it, it's still been formed from the same era. And then if you take a look over this side, you can actually yeah. see some of the more compressed soils, which are, which is slate, and so this is kind of uh, fairly indicative of the, the subsoils all throughout the, the subregion here. Yeah, and if we look up here, um, you can see the cracking Jamie, mm -hmm. sort of through it, and you can sort of imagine the way a vine root would would work its way down. And, Absolutely. And from your perspective, mm -hmm. as a as a vine root does that, yep. What does that then? How's that expressed in the wine? What goes on? So I guess a lot of people talk about minerality, and we we definitely feel that that the Polish Hill expression of Riesling does have that minerality, mm. and we feel that this has got a major part to do with it. Mm -hmm. And we actually see, you know, I think that. It's perhaps more obvious or in, in our red wines yes. because Riesling inherently has some of these characteristics, whereas red wines, not so much. So mm -hmm. when you look at our, our red wines, we, we see this kind of light touch of minerality through, mm. through our reds uh, yeah. as well. Wow. So. so there you go. There you have it. You're looking at rocks more than um, 600 million years old and you're seeing how the nature of those rocks can contribute to the taste and texture in Pike's Wine and other ones from the Polish Hill River part of the Clare Valley. Beautiful. Over and out, we'll be back with more at Oliver's Wines.